Academy Lou, Executive Director and President of Venture Compound. Do you like crap? We got it! Yes, I know the cost was great. You lost your mind, and Lisa lost her skin. Damn the power of Asimorph's lock. At least we still have the baby. Crappy VHS, we got it! Every tail is different, like a fingerprint. They twist and turn, his is like a hook. Weird music, we got it. Art no one will understand, we got it. No, that's okay. I mean, that's what they did at the, uh, the uh, last time I saw him. Like, no, this friend we saw in the parking lot. That was kind of weird. Nonprofit registered with the state of Florida and recognized by the IRS. We provide space for young and emerging artists whose art might otherwise not be commercially viable. Who wants to hear this guy playing a tuba? Now it's time for Puppet Time Puppet Theater Puppets with Dr. Wolf. Well, how can I help you? I feel crappy about myself. What do I do? Hmm. Perhaps you might want to look more deeply into what you're living for and the meaning of your life. Look at the big questions. Consider the nature of good and evil. Is there a God? Why are you ultimately on this planet? I don't know. That sounds like a lot of work. Like, I'd have to read a bunch of, of books and, like, think about stuff that makes me uncomfortable. Like, if there isn't a God, that's scary. But if there is a God, he might expect me to do stuff. I'd just rather not deal with that. Have you considered joining a fundamentalist religion? Like, I think we already made it clear I don't want to touch any God stuff. I might, like, have to change the way I live my life, and I ain't doing that. But you don't actually have to believe in it or do what the religion stands for. It is just an excuse to put other people down so you can feel better about yourself. Isn't that just bullying people? Yes, but you will feel okay when you have an ideology you can use as an excuse. You can feel like a hero fighting for a cause. I'm still not sure. Religion is just so uncool. Well, I think I have the answer for you. It's called political correctness. It's like fundamentalist religion, only without any pretense of God. Instead of calling someone a heathen or a non-believer, you can call them a racist or a sexist or an ableist. 
the list goes on and on and on. Like, does that mean I actually have to help girls or, like, black people or people with disabilities? Because we've already established I don't want to have to do stuff. No, that's the beauty of it. You can claim to be doing stuff by putting other people down. You call it awareness raising. Really, it's just you attacking people to feel better about yourself. I'm not sure. I really know enough people who do that stuff, though. You can't let facts get in your way. You can make it up as you go along. It is easy when you realize that each time you put someone down, you feel better and better about yourself. Wow, that sounds amazing. But one last thing. What if I piss somebody off and they, like, scream in my face? Or even worse, they break down in tears, like, crying? Thanks to modern technology, you do most of your work safely behind a screen. For the most part, you don't have to see any of that stuff. You can call yourself an online activist. Where should I start? Artists are a great place. They tend to share their thoughts honestly and give you plenty of material to attack. Like, I can't wait. Thank you so much, Dr. Wolf. It's my pleasure. I give people the answers they want to hear. for some crappy VHS? Think our regular movies are crappy? Get ready for the worst of TV Mountain. Persians. A typical Persian is a strong cat with a full flowing coat of long, dense fur, covering a strong body and thick legs. The fur around the neck forms a ruff or frill, and its tail resembles a fox tail. The head is large and round with tiny ears and large round eyes. Generally placid and gentle, Persians make very affectionate, quiet, restful pets to have at home. Their coats come in a multitude of colors. There's a color out there for just about anybody.
Now join us next month for another crappy episode of Adventure TV. My head fell off.